Hi guys, just thought I'd give you a wee update on where we are with uh, drop pods and also for anyone who's interested uh, how I go about painting the interior of the drop pod. Um, obviously I quite enjoy using the airbrush, I uh, wouldn't say I'm very good with it but because um, I just can never consistently get the same results every time whereas someone who knows what they're doing probably does it quite well. But I use for, for the interior, I like them to be this sort of sandy colour. So, I'm of MIG, uh, do a nice paints set. And I think they're all useful at German armour. Uh, but th this set here, I think, is really good. And the three that I use, you've got your base, your light base, and then the highlight, which makes it nice and easy for knowing what you're doing. Um, first thing you do is just coat all the interior parts with the base colour. Then come in and do a, a highlight areas of it with this and then do like an extreme highlight with that. So you, you, going at it three passes with the airbrush um, but you can then you can pick out you can see the areas that it does. Yeah, you maybe see it a bit better on like this part here so you can you can clearly see the three separate areas where it's darker, lighter and then lighter again. Mm -hmm. After I've done that with the parts then what I'll do is I come in with uh, an oil wash. Yeah, the yellow ochre for these paints I find is really nice, it blends everything nicely together. You just a wee bit of that, a wee bit of the, the oil uh, paint and a lot of thinner. Nice wash and then just plaster it all over it. Smoothly obviously. And then. Then to get all this, uh, the dark parts come in with the uh, Ammo Amig and Ammo Wash, this is for German dark yellow um, but I do find that you get it in the colours uh, in the edges, it blends really well with the colours I'm using um, and it helps pick out all the sort of recesses um, stands out really well um, the same with this part, now the interior, I love doing these um, there's just so many different parts to it and the funny thing is I spend ages doing this and it's hidden. It's all blinking hidden. By the time you start adding all the bits and bobs in and it's inside, once it throws it up obviously you don't see it. Um, but for me it's, it's part of doing it so I enjoy doing it. Um, what do we have? The, the wee sort of screens. Yeah, I think you can just see them there. The, the, the screens are done with... Um, I use Vallejo here. Basically I'm using what paints I have handy. Um, the, the back of the screen. So it gets base coated in that. And then I take the pale green and just make a wash out of that. Um, and just paint it across half the screen. I kind of do like three passes. Um, the first one just from that corner to that corner. Down the way and then a third of the way in. And then just another third. So it's two thirds and then a third if you get what I mean. I don't think I really do either, but never mind. Excuse me. Um, so do that with them all. Uh, I then use a, a Tamiya. These Tamiya clears are absolutely amazing. So use the, the Tamiya clear um, on the sort of bottom half at an angle. I then use the yellow at the top. It's, I don't know if you can actually make it out. Um, it's, it's very shiny in the light. Uh, basically I'm going from th this bottom right triangle gets coated in that and then the top right in that and then I go over it all once that's dry with that and I just find that it gives me a nice screen obviously I've used I use this the, the Minotaur ancient bone uh, to give me all the sort of the wee lines and dots and things on it Again, it's kind of hard to see. Um, maybe see a bit better on that one. Just to try and make the screens look interesting. I don't know if they're actually valid or doing anything. Um, but it makes it interesting looking. Uh, then I paint the, the small sort of blue vials that are down the bottom here. Uh, these get painted with the, the bone again. I think it's the Minotaur. Yeah, I paint them with the Minotaur bone. And then just come back in with the blue Timia. I think for insides, for cockpits and the like as well, if you want anything that's glass or shiny, this stuff's amazing. Paint whatever colour you want underneath it and then just put it over the top. 
uh, and you can get some really cool effects. Again, for all the metallics that you see around about, that's this gun. It's for the modeler's gun, gun metal type, whatever that is. Um, and again, so picking out all the bits of metal, the small bits there, the bits on the wee light clusters, the bulkhead fittings are there. Um, again, they were done, they were just, there's no actual glass colour in that at all. All I did with them was just paint the metallic sort of frame, the glass protector with the bolt gun, and then came in with the, the Minotaur, uh, it was this ghost tint yellow, um, and gave it, the sort of, I tried to give it, I don't know if you can make it out, but give it a kind of glowing effect around about as well, just basically just spreading the illusion of like a wash and just putting it all over the edges. Um, so you can still see what's underneath, but it's to try and make it look like it's switched on, but quite diffused light, not giving out loads of light. Uh, and that's really it. <coughs> um, the These parts here, which you know, go inside. Again, all I'm doing is picking out. It's washed, it's all done the exact same as the rest of them, and then just picking out the bits of metallic, so the, the metal hose of the air is picked out, and then just the ends of all the wee sort of studs picked out and again just some colour over the, what would be the buttons, I don't know if you can see them, there's, there's some buttons there so they just get picked out in the same manner, the same on both sides. Um, <coughs> again the, the the part for the where the guns get mounted or whatever, if it's the rocket launcher or the machine guns get mounted, again you don't really see that because um, it's upside down but you're just picking out areas. Now what I haven't done yet and may do is still is still to weather. Again this is the final part that's inside. That bit there, you know, that goes up inside there. Um, so again just the same, the same wash, you know, picking out the detail. So, and then you have the the bits up the side, so this part's inside. Now technically that part there is inside and that. Uh, I haven't decided how I'm going to do these yet. Um, but if I'm going to do that then I can, I can quite happily just paint that by hand. Obviously I'll spray paint these blue. Um, I'll just concentrate on the inside first, get the inside done and then move on. So, and again anywhere where there's been any metal holes in a tube, what I do is again it gets a base coat with that first and then I use a, a wash. Um, now those of you that follow us on paint job um, a few years back he showed us how he made his washes uh, so that's for bulk black washes I use various uh, just different colours um, you shake them up and you get once the bubbles die down <laughs> I think I'm using too much fluid but these for me are just like my go-to washes um, especially for doing you know, terrain and the like where you're going to use a lot of it then I just make my own and do that. So that, that there's the black wash um, and it's really handy. So there you go, I hope that all makes sense. Um, any questions just leave it down the bottom. I still have obviously I've got this to do as well but because the, that's the bit that goes on top of that um, but it'll be the same blue as the outside. I'll do that so I've left that until I'm doing the blue and then the dome, paint that whatever and put stuff on it. I don't quite know yet. I'll, Cross that bridge when I come to it. Um, but so that, that's to me the interior's done. I may still add some weathering. Um, I might do some, you know, just some small chips round about the edges, um, chips round there. You know, obviously this part's spinning round, so where the two surfaces meet, there may be some, you know, edges getting chipped, wee scratches. So I've not been out of mind. I, I probably will do that, but as yet, I'm not decided, so I'll not do it just now. Uh, I'll try and get the rest of them done first. Okay, so there you are guys, thanks for watching, speak to you later, bye.